Hello everybody, this is a comprehensive guide to liquids, and I'm your host, Big Juicy Mr. J. <laughs> so, today, it is a momentous occasion, because this is the first video on a new channel, and I figured, why the hell not? Uh, I'm a... Uh, Big soda enthusiast. I'm a massive energy drink uh, energy drinks enthusiast. I'm a massive coffee enthusiast. I'm starting to get into buying more and more expensive whiskies. I like wine. Basically, I love anything liquid. So I figured I'd take you along on my taste testing journey towards finding the best liquids. Hey, so in front of me, I figured I'd start with a Bobber's Dram, or no, sorry, a Beaver's Dram, a premium Canadian rye whiskey, Portwood finish, 46% ABV, and it's made by Dan Robin Distilleries Limited uh, from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada for Seven Seals Innovation Canada. So what we have in front of us here is a Canadian rye whiskey with a portwood finish. Simple as that. We have a beaver or a bobber for the Polish audience out there and yeah, let's give it a try then. So first we do the sniffle. Oh, smells sweet. I don't know why I'm moaning like that, but I got a sweet, sweet smell. A bit sugar, molasses. Maybe I have a bad sense of smell, so I don't know, but let's do the taste then. Whoa. So I can get the wood finish or the port wood finish. It is surprisingly and terrifyingly smooth for being a 46% ABV. Generally, I am a weakling, so a 46% ABV is normally enough to make me completely sloshed and, well, lacking my ability to speak, so to say. Secondly, it is a sweet round smell. It is kind of nice to the mouth. I mean, it doesn't leave that burning that burning like eh, how do you call it prickly feeling that some of the cheaper whiskies do also though i will have to say this it does come up a bit short i mean it has a nice like Whoops, that almost ended badly. It has a nice, like, poof of a flavor, but then it quickly, quickly goes away. It doesn't stick to your tongue, and it doesn't stick to your mouth either. It leaves, like, it goes from being a nice whiskey to being, um, I don't know. If I would go as far as to calling it artificial, but it ends abruptly. It goes from whiskey to like varnish, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it ends too quickly. So, um, it is bloody phenomenal, though. I'm not going to lie, but. I paid 400 Swedish crowns to the, uh, for this, which equates to about 40 US dollars or like 38 British pounds, maybe. I don't know. I'm not keeping track of the currencies. Good, good job, Joel. Good, good, good. I'm very knowledgeable, apparently. Um, 
which is actually quite cheap or it depends on whether you're go all okay I'm a bit more sloshed than I would like to admit 400 crowns for a 70 centiliter bottle which is a bit more or a bit less that depends where you want to place it so if you want to place it with premium whiskey then it's extremely cheap although with a short flavor I would like to pr place this somewhere in the between a rye no a bourbon no a blend it's too good to be like put in the same category as blended whiskies it's not good enough to be compared to single malls or like stuff like that so Eh, somewhere in between 400 crowns not bad not good definitely worth a shot i would think that this is great to mix drinks with that's my assumption at least overall score then yeah let's give it a solid 6 out of 10 not good not bad eh, somewhere slightly above okay First video, boys. Yeah.